everybody, George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips. Today I'm going to be going over a highly requested video. I think this one's got a lot of great information in it. It's three tips to break 100. So I'm going to be going over three parts of your game and a bunch of tips that will help you get those scores lower and get you to finally get into the, uh, into the double digits. Before we get into the video, just be sure to subscribe to the SG2 YouTube channel. Constant uploads, improve your game. Alright, here we go. Let's get right into it. So first off, we're going to talk about off the tee. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is driver three with driving iron. A lot of people who are struggling to improve their scores, they'll just hit a driver off the tee. If no matter what the hole is, as long as it's not a par three. But um, I implore you to look into a three wood and a driving iron off the tee. And I'll tell you the reasons. Um, three wood and driving iron, a driving iron especially, much more easy to control. Uh, if you can hit fairways and just take a couple yards off, the fairway may be uh, very well worth it. That actually goes into my next point. Sacrificing distance for fairways can be crucial to uh, improving your scores. Um, if you have a 400-yard par 4, would you rather be 280 yards and in the rough with a horrible lie or 250 in the fairway with a good lie? Um, for me, always in the fairway. You'll ha I'll have a much easier shot left in. So sacrificing some distance there, seeing what kind of hole you have. You know, if you have a 300-yard hole and you're bad at 50-yard shots, then don't hit it 250. Hit it 200, guarantee yourself a spot in the fairway, and then hit it in from there. Um, that'll definitely help you in the long run. So sacrificing a little bit of distance there for the fairways. And the final thing about off the tee, know your miss. If you slice the ball or hit a fade, then just recognize where that ball is going to go if you miss. If maybe there's water over there, then either aim much further left to guarantee that you avoid that water, or club down. You know, if... I know there's a hole on my home course that it's OB to the right, and it's really, really tight. So sometimes I'll hit like a six iron, and I'll just get it in the fairway down there, and I'll hit a, I'll hit a two iron in to the hole. Um, I, I play it differently because I just you got to guarantee yourself that you don't hit it OB or uh, into the water because that's how you get some blow up holes, and that's where your, that's where your scores really blow up. So off the tee, keep those three in mind. Uh, after your tee shot goes in. You've got your approach shot. So the first thing, uh, this is pretty crucial, know your distances. You need to know what club goes what, generally. I'm not saying you, sh you need to know that your 8-iron goes 142.3. No, just know generally what your, what your distances are from there. And once you can figure that out, uh, you're, in a, you're in a much better spot in regards to your distance control. The ball will be much closer to the... Uh, the ball will be much closer to the pin, even if you're a bit further left and right. So the way you can do this is you can just go to a driving range, um, maybe look at a flag like a 150. That's the way to eye it. But also maybe go into a local simulator or um, I know some like a Dick Sporting Goods has little simulators. Just pay a little bit of money for an hour on that thing and dial in your distances. You'll see your, your proximity to the hole increase tenfold. Trust me on that one. Next, uh, don't always aim for the pin. A lot of people will be, you know, 120 out. There's a there's a wide green, and the pin is tucked to the back right. Uh, maybe just aim for the middle of the green and give yourself a guaranteed putt up to the hole. Don't uh, aim for that back right pin and then hit it over the green and leave yourself with the uphill chip with no green to work with out of heavy rough. Um, aiming for the pin, you can do it on certain holes, but... Just know sometimes we be better off hitting it, you know, 10, 15 feet to the left of the pin, to the right, maybe up front or behind it. But you don't always have to aim for the pin. You need to be thinking ahead in that regard. Finally, for approach shots, know where to miss. This is just like last one. Golf is a game of misses. Um, if, you, if you see a sand bunker in the front right of the green and you don't want to be in it, then maybe aim back left a little bit. Just shy away from those obstacles. This stuff sounds simple, but this is all course management stuff that a lot of golfers will overlook when they're out on the course. So know where to miss, know what your miss is. If there's you know a really bad rough to the right, but the pin is to the right, then aim to the left, know where to aim. You'll hit a nice shot because you know your distances, and if you miss it a little bit right, you'll just be a little bit closer to the hole. So that's all course management for your approach shots. Then after that, on the greens. Practice your putting. There's an exclamation point because so many golfers overlook how to practice your putting. They don't, they don't do it at all. They'll spend, you know, 35 minutes working out their driver, and you only hit your driver 14 times max on a golf course, maybe 15, and then they putt for two minutes, even though you putt way more than 14 times in a round. A lot of people will putt 
uh, over 25, 30, sometimes even over 35 putts in a round, practice your putting. Uh, practice it before a round. Practice it just in a normal practice session. Uh, in the top right corner of your screen, I will link a video that I did on how to practice your putting, so that'll help you uh, gauge that. Just be sure to practice that putting. Uh, read, visualize your putts. Now you may be thinking, that's just dumb. Why do I need to read? I always read my putts. Just saying, oh, it's a little bit left to right, that's not, that's not going to be good enough. That, that's, a, that's just not going to cut it for most putts. You need to read uphill, downhill, left to right, and then you need to visualize how your putt is going to roll. Visualize it going through that break and visualize that putt going into the hole. Um, do you want it center cup, maybe a little bit left, maybe a little bit right? Visualize it and be confident. You need to be confident in your read or else you're just going to step up. If you say, uh, I don't really know, I'll just hit it, it's the, the chances of it going in are just way too slim for you to lower your scores. So just be sure to both read, visualize, and have confidence over that putt. And finally, this is a big one for the three putters out there. Think forward with your lag putting. What I mean by this is if you have a 45-foot putt, the odds that you're going to make that putt and the odds that anyone, a pro, an amateur, anyone makes that putt are very slim. But what you really need to focus on is two putting that. Because if you three putt or even four putt, that's just a very surefire way to get your scores up really high. So what I mean by think forward is think, where do I want this putt to end up? You know, if your putt's on an upslope, do you want to hit it past the hole and then have a, have a downhill slider? No. Maybe leave it a little bit short. Maybe leave it left if, there, if that's the straight putt. Just know where you want your putt to end up. Think forward in golf. Think forward with your lag putting. And if you guys go through all three of these things, like a little checkpoint when you're out on the course, I promise you that you will play better course management golf. You'll, you'll have more fun on the course because it, you're more involved and you're going to play better golf. So those are some great tips for you guys. Be sure to implement them. I've got a lot of other content if you're looking to practice, but this is more course management for how to break 100. Thank you very much for watching. On the left side of your screen, you should see a button to subscribe to the SGT YouTube channel. On the right side, you should see another video that YouTube has recommended you watch. Once again, thanks for watching, guys. Play well and take care.